Hey, this is Intro to Piano Chords with Aaron Tomberlin. And uh, for this video, we're just going to look at the difference between major and minor. We're going to kind of take the information between the first video, the notes video, and the second video, part one of chords, and just put the information together and uh, start moving forward a bit. So let's go straight forward into what a major and a minor is. So basically, you want to understand the sound of a major and a minor more than anything. So this is kind of ear training. So the sound of a major, the most basic thing we can understand about it is that it's a bright or happy, happy sounding chord. A minor is a darker chord. Okay, so you can, you can, with your ear, almost any ear I think on the planet can hear the difference between a major and a minor. Okay, one is bright and happy. The other one is darker. I won't say sad because a minor chord doesn't have to be sad. But if you want to call it sad, if it helps you remember, that's fine. Okay, so happy and sad, bright, dark, major and minor. All right, so the second thing we're going to know, um, want to know is take the information from the first video, notes, our whole step, half step stuff, and let's assign numbers to um, the notes in the scale. And we've, we've kind of already done that, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And those numbers are going to be dis be the same in any key. So for example, if C is one in the key of C, C is going to be four in the key of G. Okay. So C is not always one. Okay. Just wanted you to understand that. So for in the key of G, G is one. Major scale. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in the key of C. And then we learned if you just do this triad pattern, you're playing chords. Okay, but it's important to understand what these chords are called. So that's what we're going to do next. Is after we assign numbers, we're going to assign names to each of these notes, which is going to help us establish the name of the chord, the corresponding chord to the note. So we have C note and then also C chord as a triad or just two notes. Okay. So the first is major. Okay. This is what you need to know. Number one, major, whole step up. Number two, minor. Number three, whole step up is a minor as well. Four is a major, five is a major, six is a minor, seven is something called a diminished. Okay, don't worry about that much right now. It is important, but we use seven for a lot of different things. So we're gonna kind of leave seven out for now because it's a little bit more complicated and the majority of songs um, that you'll hear on the radio that you'll wanna play, um, it's kind of the point of learning piano this way, uh, doesn't use a minor chord anyway. It uses that note, but not the minor, I mean, sorry, diminished chord. It uses the note, but not a diminished chord. So we're really gonna focus on one through six. Major, minor, minor, major, major, minor. So one, two groups of two, and then one up here. Major, minor, minor, major, major, minor. Okay, so with that information, we can now name these chords. C major. Moving up the scale, D, two chord, minor, E, three chord, minor, four, F major, five, G major, A minor, okay, one through six. And this is also a C major, it's just an octave, eight notes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for oct, octave higher. Okay, both C chords. Okay, and then we can follow that with a bass note. Let's do a chord progression like one, four, six, five. Let's try it in another key, G maybe. One, four, six, five will be one, two, three, four, five, six, back to the five. Now remember in the key of G, we have an F sharp for the F. One, two, three, four, five, six. Whole step, whole step, half step, whole, 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 half. So anytime 
we may have, say, a chord like this, the B. We're playing an F. The F would have to be sharp. Okay? So the 1, G major, because it's 1. The 4 is a major. The uh, 6 is a minor. And the 5 is a major. Major, minor, minor, major, major, minor. So we have uh, G major, A minor, B minor, C major, D major. And you can go up or down. So. Let me point out one more thing. I'm using the sustain, sustain pedal. So if you're playing on an actual piano, this is a sustain pedal is the furthest pedal to the right. If you're playing on a keyboard, it's probably your only pedal. If you don't have one, I'm very sorry. <laughs> so the sustain pedal, basically, you want to hold the sustain pedal down while you're playing. Hit a chord, hit another chord, and let the sustain pedal go, and then press it again. And what the sustain pedal does is it releases the previous chord from sustaining into the next chord. So it does it, you don't want to make your piano playing muddy. That's what it would sound like if you just held it down. So you want to press a chord, hit another one, lift the sustain pedal, and press it again. Simple as that. If you can't coordinate that just yet, don't worry about it. Just do the best you can. Okay, so um, that's what majors and minors are. So you, you just basically have your one, two, three, four, five, and six chords that you're going to call either major or minor. So let's let's try this completely different key, something we haven't done yet. One of my favorite keys to play in is E. Okay, and notice I'm already playing a black note. Let's figure out what that note is. So we're starting on E. F is before the three black notes. E is right here. Whole step, whole step, half step to A. So E, the next note in the alphabet is F, but it has to be an F sharp. G, G sharp, the next note in the alphabet is an A, the half step. Then we have three whole steps. One, two, three. So A, B, C sharp, D sharp, and E. So if I played an E triad, but I know the first chord has to be major, I may want to check my notes. That G that I was playing has to be major right here. That's what makes the difference between a major and a minor, is this third note. Okay, so we have to start out with a major. And this, you already see, this has four sharps in it, so this key is um, much more complicated but you can figure it out, so. E major, F sharp minor. We also have a C sharp in here. G sharp minor, A major, B major, and C sharp minor. And now we're playing the piano and we understand what we're playing. I'm playing a bass note, letting it sustain while I play four beats on each chord. Let's go to an easier key and try this. Let's do C, corporate, uh, C, give C, chord progression, uh, one, four, six, five. Do it in G. Let's do one, two, uh, four, five. One, two, A minor, four, C major, and the five is a D major. All right, so you have your bass note here. You could do a thumb on the bass note then with your pinky hit a lower bass note so just octaves G and the lower G
Okay, and this is something that your your hand will have to get used to. So you may be hitting lots of different stuff down here with your pinky, but you'll get used to the spread. And it'll become easier the more you do it. Okay, so try this on all keys. May, you know, maybe go to a D and figure out what a one, four, five, six there uh, is there. Um, maybe go to the key of F, figure out what a one, two, five, six is, you know. Um, so mix up the numbers, mix up the, the chords, and just try to understand what you're playing between one through six. So again, we have major, minor, minor, major, major, minor. Okay, and that is the general... Uh, chord pattern for any key um, forever, pretty much. So if anybody says play a two chord in the key of C, the two generally means minor, okay? So anytime you hear like a two chord, one, two, it's going to be minor, okay? Now, that doesn't mean you can't play a major, because you can. There are many songs where you may have a, a two major chord, but for the general purposes of learning piano and chord progressions and understanding the difference between major and minor, um, let's call it just general theory for now. The two is minor and the three is minor. Major, major, minor. All right, so that's it. That's the difference between majors and minors. And um, now we're making music.